to get sound into Dwarf Fortress is uh, quite easy. You can achieve that uh, the easiest way to um, by uh, going over the Lazy Noob Pack, um, which I'm referring to in all my tutorials. Um, you can find this in the description if you don't have it, or uh, by uh, searching um, on the forums, uh, or by alternatively uh, just looking for the program SoundSense, uh, which is a mod developed by the community. Um, if you start SoundSense over the Utilities tab in the Lazy New Pack, um, you first have to update your sound pack, which is the third tab here. And um, what it's going to do basically is scan your folders and uh, bringing everything up to date, um, which is pretty simple. Afterwards, you have to uh, start SoundSense again, um, which I'm doing right now. Um, this instance is up to date already, and uh, then you start uh, um, Dwarf Fortress. It works with a running instance already, so you don't really have to do that in a particular order. You uh, start Sound Sense, um, Dwarf Fortress, sorry. And after you have loaded, you have basically sound effects in the game. Whenever something happens, like you struck something, um, someone is getting hit, uh, fights or whatever, um, SoundSense will play. The thing with SoundSense is um, it is showing you here exactly what's playing. Um, you see there is a channel for music, there is a channel for sound effects, like um, if someone is getting hit you see uh, another thing playing. Uh, for events or if there is a snowstorm, whether it starts raining. If you want to listen to own music on your um, headphones, this can be quite disturbing, so you can either just stop it or just mute it here. Alright, that works um, quite good, and you can listen to your own music, but having as well still your own sound effects um, along with the game, and um, that's pretty much it. That's uh, SoundSense. Pretty easy to use tool, great thing.